Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. And today, instead of being over at my sewing machines, I am at my laptop. We are talking about how to print our patterns today. So I'm gonna show you how to log in and download your patterns and get them ready for printing. Let's do it. If we hit alienmac.com on our browser, it will bring us to our main Ellie and Mac website. Um, it's got all these different awesome options up here. You can pick and choose whatever you wanna do. But before you do so, I would advise you to go ahead and click the login button. When you hit the login button, it brings you to this screen right here, which is a place where you can go ahead and create your account if you don't have one, um, or log in if you already have one. If you don't have one account, you should make an account because it will keep track of all your patterns that you've purchased and keep them saved for you, for you to go back later and download. So let's go ahead and log in. Once you've logged in, it will show you your orders on here. Um, order number and you can go ahead and click on that order number okay that order will that click will bring up what you ordered just on that one order um, and it'll show you the download here now the download here on each one of these will lead you to the same place so you just go ahead and click download here once you've clicked it it will bring you to this screen which shows you your whole order um, it shows you everything you bought. Now, the Gamer Pattern Capsule has got different kind of patterns, so you can pick any of these patterns you want to look at. Um, the So Scrappy Pattern has got only the So Scrappy, and these are the three different options that we offer on our All Our Newest Patterns. So we've got the first option is a projector file, and this one you will use if you want to use your projector at home, if you have a projector that projects straight to your cutting table. Um, so this makes it super easy because it's a whole picture. Then you have your A0 file, which is the one that if you want to send it to a uh, some kind of company that prints the patterns out for you in a complete format, um, you can send this AO file. And then we've got the compressed file, which is the one that you will use for printing at home. So we'll click to download. Now I've already set my downloads to go to my Adobe Reader. Um, which we recommend to use Adobe Reader because then you can use uh, the layers option. So I'm going to click on it. Mine goes straight to my Adobe. Um, and the really cool thing is that you can have the layers option. The layers option right here on the left hand side, when you hit on it, you can just pick exactly what size you want to be printed. So you can get rid of all the other sizes that you don't need. So when you end up printing your pattern, you will be printing just your size. You don't need to print every layer and it makes it a lot easier to see. Um, you will also get your whole full tutorial of your pattern and you will get your pattern pieces. I'll show you here how only my medium is showing. If I hit the large, um, the other one will show. So you can print whichever you want. Um, then when you get to, when you're ready to print, make sure that you select that you figure out which pages you want to print. Do you want to print your whole tutorial or just your pattern? And then you hit print. You can change your pages to print just the pattern or whatever you want to print. If you just want to print a sleeve or whatever, you just type those numbers on here. And then remember that you have to use an actual size. So you're printing actual size. The really cool thing too is that it comes, that all, all our patterns come with a uh, chart that tells you, shows you the page numbers. Uh, so you can look at the chart with the diagram with the page numbers and choose what pages you need to print. Like I said, if you only need to print a sleeve, if you lost it or a neckband, and it makes it super easy. If your um, download is not set to go straight to um, your Adobe Reader, so you can click on it and it'll just open it online. So you wanna make sure that you download it and that you open it onto uh, like an Adobe Reader to give you the different options. If you go to print on here, it gives you different options and it might not give you as many settings as you need to print to scale. Um, so you can make it fit, but you uh, honestly, the best option is for you to download that Adobe Reader and download it. You will make it, you choose wherever you want to download it to and you'll save it. Now I already have this file, so it's asking me if I wanna replace it. I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And then um, you wanna go over 
to your finder and find your pattern, click on it, open it. This will take me straight to my Adobe Reader and it gives me all the cool options I can do for printing. Um, and then I can go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Go get to printing, go get to cutting, go get to sewing and show us your projects over on Eileen and Mac Facebook page on our Instagram page. We'd love to see them. Please let us know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time.